tram trouble. Thomas the tank engine and Toby the steam tram are very good friends. Toby always tells Thomas when he's worried, and Thomas is always happy to help Toby. One bright morning, Thomas puffed into Arlesdale End. Hello, Toby. You look happy. The Fat Controller has asked me to lead the parade at the first Great Waterton Festival. Thomas was pleased for his friend. That's because you're the only steam tram on Sodor. Everyone will cheer for you. Thomas puffed quickly away. The Fat Controller was waiting for him at Great Waterton. He had three important jobs to do. Thomas raced into Great Waterton, fizzling fireboxes. Waiting on the rails was another steam tram. Thomas, this is Flora. She's the new steam tram on Sodor. Flora smiled her sunniest smile. Hello, Thomas. Ha ha! Hello. Flora is to lead the parade with Toby. Thomas gasped. Take Flora to meet Toby. Then Toby must bring Flora back here for the parade. Thomas was worried. Toby thinks he's leading the parade all by himself. Thought Thomas. Now he will be very upset. I must keep Flora away from Toby until after the parade. Thomas and Flora arrived at the junction. Suddenly, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I will take Flora to do one of my jobs before we go to Arsdale End. He chuffed to himself. By then, Toby will have left to lead the parade. Let's go to the woodyard first. It won't take long. That sounds exciting. So they raced away to the woodyard. Thomas collected a flatbed of heavy logs. Now we can meet Toby. Flora was pleased. Hooray! She peeped prettily. They set off. Toby, Toby, you must go. Hurry now to lead the show. Thomas puffed to himself. Flora and Thomas waited at the junction to Toby's shed. It looked empty. Come on, Flora. Flora pumped her pistons perkily. Suddenly, Thomas saw steam coming from Toby's shed. Cinders and ashes, he thought. Toby's still there. Toby mustn't see Flora. Flora, I've just remembered. We must go to the quarry first. Flora was surprised. If you say so, Thomas. And they puffed away. At the shunting yard, Thomas was coupled up to the stone trucks. Now we can meet Toby. That made Flora very happy. Toby, Toby, please have gone. Lead the show. Be proud and strong. Thomas puffed to himself. Thomas and Flora arrived at Arsdale End. This time, Thomas was sure Toby's shed was empty. Come on, Flora. Oh no! Thought Thomas. Toby's still there. Toby mustn't see Flora. Flora, we're late to pick up my load. We must go to the docks. If you say so, Thomas. And they puffed quickly away. At the docks, Thomas was coupled up to his large load to take to Great Waterton. Thomas was sure Toby would now be leading the parade. Come on, Flora. Flora's axles ached, but Thomas steamed strongly. Thomas and Flora puffed up to the junction. Then there was trouble. Flora had chuffed too far. She had run out of coal. I'm sorry, Thomas. Flora's wheels wobbled weakly. 
Thomas felt bad. He knew it was his fault. Then he heard a chuff and a puff and a ring of a bell. It was Toby. Thomas, I've been waiting for you. Who, who's that? Cinders and ashes. Toby had met Flora. Neither of them was at the parade. The fat controller would be very cross. Thomas couldn't have felt worse. Flora, this is Toby. Toby, this is Flora. Toby looked very happy. Thomas was surprised. I wanted to tell you, Thomas, that I was too scared to lead the parade all by myself. But now, Flora and I can lead it together. I thought I knew what you wanted, Toby, but I was wrong. Now, Thomas had to quickly put right his mistake. Flora, take my coal. I'll pick up more. Puff as fast as you can to Great Waterton. Toby and Flora soon puffed away. Later, Thomas chuffed in to Great Waterton. The parade was ready to leave. Thomas's flatbed was uncovered. Flora gasped. She had a wonderful new tram car. Toby was pleased. Thomas watched his two friends lead the first Great Waterton Parade. The children cheered. The brass band booed. Now I have another best friend, and she's a steam tram too. And Thomas smiled his happiest smile. Let's go!